I'm Isaiah with Wood Brass and Glass, and for this video, I'm going to be machining out the center core element nickel 200 for my Searle Effect generator replica. So this is the nickel 200 center core material. I bought it through a place called Megamex LLC, and I'll provide the link to their company in the description below. It is uh, about two, sorry, not two, four and a half inches across, two and a half inches thick, and I'm going to machine it down to be uh, 2.25 inches thick, and whatever will fit inside my Teflon piece, three and a half or so. Whew. All right, 10 inch, 10 inch lathe chuck is all mounted. This is the first run I'm going to do with this new chuck, and the uh, nickel is already set. So I'm going to give this a whirl. It's all correctly uh, centered and, and true. So have some fun with this. All right, so the cut with the 10 inch chuck is all done. I've switched over now to the six inch chuck. And I've uh, sized this down on both sides, made my cut down from five and a half inch to about 3.62 or 6.3, just enough to barely squeeze it into the Teflon. So I'm gonna face this off to uh, my 2.25 inch thickness and then work on the inside out uh, to solve this. So center hole, center hole, <laughs> center hole is already there. Uh, so I'm gonna continue on. Okay, so here it is. The center core is measured right where I wanted. Uh, so after this, I'm gonna go weigh the sucker. Uh, gotta clean this up, the dye and stuff, but weigh this, see what it comes out to, and uh, then go back to lay it and start finishing this out to get it to the appropriate weight. Now let's go over to that scale right now and see how much this weighs. Okay, now it's good. Okay, so got to work down to what was it? 2851.5. So got a little ways to go. And the weight calculator, which I'll supply in the description below the link to, says this should be about one inch, the center hole. Uh, so we'll see. I'll just keep going up little by little and uh, do my checklist, speaking of which. Whew, real close. I just said 0.1 grams. That won't be hard. All right, here it goes. I think this is it. <coughs> uh, it's close. All right, try, try, try again. Okay, is this it? That's it. It's close enough for me. Well, the time has come to finally put this unit together. First, in the other video, we saw the Teflon. And now, finally, it is completed. And it is tight. There we go. I started this project in 2008, I believe. And now the hardware is done. I'm very happy with this, this is awesome. So, what comes next is all the rollers. Um, scaling them all right, weighing them, all that kind of stuff. Now I'll be using the nickel cores for the rollers also, just like this is nickel. Um, but there we have it. Wow, 10 years. <laughs> I should have done this a long time ago. <laughs> if I knew how to do it. So basically once the rollers get done, I'll be videoing probably just a few of those until I get just uh, the 12 rollers. Then comes the real, real, real tricky part. Uh, this is relatively easy compared to that, is programming. Um, 
finding some circuits that work and making uh, progress with that. But this, this is the big day, this is the big moment. This is complete and just needs magnetic programming. Well, if you guys have enjoyed this video and seen that this come to completion for hardware, uh, click that like button, subscribe to my channel because more is coming. The rollers, eventually the plate that this sits on and then the circuit activators to, to pulse the rollers. But the really the big one everybody's waiting for, including myself, is magnetic programming. So stay tuned for more videos and I'll see you guys on the next one.